Uh, what's up, Secret Fangirls? I'm Nick Hissom. I'm an artist from London, and uh, it's awesome to be here with y'all. No, he ain't better. Is there a way to stay longer? Uh, R&B, rhythmic, pop. Okay, so He and Better is a song about a girl in London, and uh, we've been seeing each other for a little bit, and then she started seeing a bunch of other guys while I was in LA working on music, and uh, I just sort of wanted to let those other guys out there know that no matter what they were doing together, like, if I came back, then, you know, that was going to happen, so... Uh, you know, it's a song about empowerment. It's a song about feeling good. It's about, um, you know, it's rhythmic, it's tempo, and uh, yeah, just letting everybody out there know, like, if you got a girl and she's with someone else, just go for it anyway. Uh, Pre-show rituals, yes, vocal warm-ups, very important. Uh, breathe a lot, because I hyperventilate, I get nervous, it's crazy, and um, Plant your feet firmly on the ground, take a deep breath, go out there, have fun, and uh, just give it your all. And remember that it's about inspiring people. If you can just inspire one person out there, then you've done something good. Secret fangirls. Uh, <laughs> who would I freak out over? It would be Cardi B. Cardi B, hit me up if you're watching. I'm dead ass serious, Cardi B. Let, let. Um, her song is kind of like a she ain't better, you know? No one's no one's crushing Cardi B right now. She's killing the game, so yeah, that would be it. Love to meet her. Every day and all night, I'm thinking of you. Uh, well, I grew up in London, so I listened to a lot of like I guess early 90s, early 2000s pop music, um, a lot of like European DJs like David Guetta, um, Black Eyed Peas, Justin Timberlake, um, you know that was kind of what I was on, you know, also like 50 Cent at the time was just coming out with Candy Shop and, and all, all that sort of, you know, music, so it was kind of a mix of everything, but um, yeah, it was a lot of, a lot of pop and, and some hip hop and yeah, English stuff. <laughs> Acting. A little bit. Not crazy acting. Just if I have to act for a music video or sometimes as an artist you need to act, you know, in, in certain skits and, and filming things. And I think a hidden talent of mine is I can act just a little bit. Not, not a crazy amount, but most of my talents I put on display, singing and dancing. So, um, yeah, but I like movies and I would like to do one one day. Um... I don't know, I just kind of like vibe with the music and I can't really identify the move. It's just like, you know, it's just a groove, you know, you just got to be in it and and just sit into the song and wherever it takes you, you know, I'm all about that. The music sets the energy for me and I'm part of that. And, you know, sound, it affects everything around us and, um, you know, it makes you feel a certain way. So however the music makes you feel, you just got to go with it. Hmm. Um. An album that I would bring with me on a road trip. I have to think about that one. I don't even. What album would you bring on a road trip? It's kind of a hard question, right? Good chill music. Don't want to be stressed out, you know. Just something fun and easy that everybody likes to listen to. You know, I always like to drive with friends in the car and stuff. So you know, anything that's. Really anything. I like all kinds of music in the car, you know? Just depends on what vibe you're in. And you let the music set the vibe and you just drive and let it take you wherever. A lot of people. Enrique Iglesias, David Guetta, um, Migos, uh, obviously Cardi. Um, just a lot of artists in general, like DJs and rappers and yeah. Oh, I forget. Uh, it's uh, there's "How to Save a Life" by The Fray. I always get confused between Rome, uh, Rome Republic and "How to Save a Life." I mean, and The Fray. So, yeah, "How to Save a Life" by The Fray. I actually covered that song as a demo. 
uh, when I was maybe 17 years old, and when I sent that to these DJs, that is a song that they invited me to feature on their record with, and my cover of that song is what got me into the music industry when I was 19 years old, 17 years old. And um, another favorite of mine is Save the World by Swedish House Mafia. It's like this big vocal, big acrobatic performance, and it's kind of cool. So I used to sing that in the clubs, like scream it when I was drunk, you know, with all my friends. And uh, those two songs, yeah. So I'm going to be going on tour um, in early 2018. We're going to release a full EP. Got a lot of great collaborations going on on the EP that are very exciting. Um, EP is going to be like rhythmic pop. And uh, yeah, we got the single that's going to hit radio soon. And um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much what we're doing right now. Like It's a lot going on, rehearsing. And um, yeah, in the new year, we'll be on the road. So all throughout the colleges in America and everywhere, uh, all across the all across the country. So come see me at a show. When it's colder, when I'm still here waiting on you. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone for all the support um, over the last couple months since the new record came out. The response has been overwhelming and I'm extremely thankful for everyone's belief in me. A lot of people have been fans of mine for some of them are new fans and some of them have been around for years. So I want to say hi to all the new fans and thank you to all the old fans who've stuck with me through all the ups and downs of my career. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Nick Hissom, H-I-S-S-O-M. Same thing on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, everything's the same. Just Nick Hissom.